Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at some proxy offline workflow in Resolve. I've got uh, four multicam clips here that were pre-synchronized to their endpoints using a sync map. And I'll just bring them in into this project. I'm going to create uh, a couple of bins here just to keep things organized. So I'll create a source bin for my source clips, a proxy bin, and a timeline bin. And you'll see why I have the separate bins a little bit later on. Okay, let's move the source clips into the source bin. I've named these clips in such a way that that they order themselves in terms of cameras one through four. We shot this uh, we shot this in Toronto back in 2015. Okay, so select all four clips, right click on it and select new multicam clip. And we're going to, and there's no need to move those since we've already organized them. But in terms of arranging the angles, go by clip name because we've named the clips lexically so that they'll always uh, order themselves from one to four. You can see that here. Now we're going to transcode these using media management. So we'll transcode these to uh, low bandwidth, smaller frame size, so that I can use less disk space, but I want to use a codec that will be an iframe codec, which will make it easier to, easier to edit. The whole point of this workflow is to speed up the editing, particularly on this uh, on this workstation here. It's actually quite underpowered. So I'll go with a low low bandwidth DNX HR and use a standard definition frame size. And you can see I'm going from almost well six and a half gig down to one and a half. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to speed this up. This actually took quite a long time. You can see on my old i7, it's pushing all the CPUs. So this is good, actually, that Resolve takes advantage of all the CPUs, unlike uh, some transcoding software I've used. Now, in theory, you could transcode these in any in any other software, but uh, it's quite quite nice actually that Resolve can do this for you. Okay, we're done. Now we just need to find those in the media pool. So we put those in the proxy subfolders. So I'm going to. You can see actually how how nicely that uh, we can scrub through that. So I'm going to put these four these four clips into the proxy bin. And I can select all four of those. Make a multicam out of selected clips. Same options as before. Clip name. Purpose of this is it's essential that they be ordered exactly the same as the other multicam clip. You'll see why. So here we are, clips one, two, three, and four. Now, if I right click on the multicam in the original source bin, I'm going to make a new timeline from that clip. And I'm not using any in and out points. I'll just move the timeline into the timeline bin. Now we can switch over to the edit page the 
and you can see as I'm scrubbing through the timeline that it's uh, it's not updating very quickly. It's in fact unbelievably slow on my machine. But this technique I'm showing you could work if you uh, you know for most modern processors you wouldn't have trouble probably with uh, with HD material. It's a little bit better if I show just two up on the source monitor, but then that makes cutting from the four cameras quite uh, quite tedious. So what I want to be able to do is switch over to the proxy clips. And the way you have to do this is by first unchecking the force conform. Okay, and now I can reconfigure from bin, so uh, uh, reconform rather from bin. So what I'm doing is basically saying I want to take this entire timeline and reconform it to the source that's in the proxy bin. And that's why I organized it into two separate bins. And you can see how much faster this scrubs through. So I could do all my cutting, in theory, I can do all my cutting now to get the edit page all cut up into the segments that I want and then back from we'll never rise if we never stand. Well, it's certainly better but even on on this slow system it's even a little bit sluggish so I'll make a couple of cuts here just for demonstration purposes Once you have your cuts on the edit timeline, you may want to switch back to your source quality in order to work on the color page, for example. So to do that, right-click on the timeline, select the timelines submenu, and reconfigure from bins. And this time we'll be selecting the source bin. So deselect all bins, select just the source bin, and click OK. You could tell just by the frame sizes it jumped there that we're back to the HD. And it's, of course, a little jittery again, as it was before. But, of course, now you're working with the best quality that you have from your source footage. You can see that if I find that in the media pool, that it locates it in the source pool. Now I'll switch back again just for the purposes of demonstration, let's reconfigure back to the proxy and see what happens when you try to find a media pool when you're looking at the proxies. And you'll see it actually finds the multicam clip in the proxy bin. Okay, so we're working with proxy media. It's a little bit back asswards, but let's make some abrupt changes to a couple of these clips while working in the proxy media. We'll make some horrifying changes here just so we can easily see the, the changes on the different clips. lovely yeah so we've got some some pretty outrageous changes there and you can see where we get some pretty good scrubbing because we're working with the proxies and now we'll right click on the timeline and we're going to reconform to the source bin So we still have our colors from the color page, but now we're working with the full HD source media. Okay, well, that was just a quick demonstration of how you can transcode to proxy media just to make your cutting a little bit smoother on the edit page and then be able to switch back to full source for grading.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.